my name is Michaela Snow and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I like to contour. Alrighty, so first I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mangalo Dual Ended Contour Stick. I absolutely fell in love with this little guy. I found him at Walmart and he's been amazing. Alrighty, so first we're just going to do our little threes, you know, those basic little guys. And then I'm just doing little lines right along my jawbone because I really need some help shading that area. <laughs> then I'm just taking a tiny, tiny bit along my nose and then adding a couple little stripes on my forehead and then just touching up anywhere I see fit. And then I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Medium. And then I'm just taking it down the bridge of my nose because I like to highlight this more than really sketching it out. Next, just doing my under eyes and doing the classic little triangles right under your eyes just to give you kind of like that dimension. Then I'm just dotting some on my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. Remember guys, this doesn't have to be sketched out perfect like it is on Instagram how they do their beautiful little shapes because it's just going to be blended out anyways. Then speaking of blending, I'm using my trusty dusty or should I say dirty beauty blender just to blend everything in. Alrighty, so first you want to blend your contour because you don't want to mud up your highlight with the contour shades. So I like working from the bottom to the top starting with my jawbone and then going to my cheekbone and then to my forehead. Like I said before, you don't really want to mud up all your highlights so I usually start with ones that can be not as bright so I usually leave my under eyes and my nose for last. Doing this will help ensure those areas remain nice and bright, but since we're also using the same sponge, it'll stay nice and in the same tone range. And then you just want to go hardcore and just blend everything. Blend everything twice and then twice again and then just blend, 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 blend. And then I'm just taking my Lorac Pro Contour Palette to set everything we just blended in. So then I'm just taking my Beauty Blender and I'm applying the beige and yellow highlight to set our highlight just so it won't go anywhere. And then for my contour, I'm using the same exact palette, but I'm using the Lorac Pro Contouring Brush. It really is just like the icing on the cake of contouring because it really just helps you etch out that cheekbone. Like, man, just look at that cheekbone. Look at the difference between just doing the contouring stick versus actually also having some contouring powder on there too. And just to bring some more dimension to our face, I'm going to add some blush. This is Milani's Powder Blush in Coral Cove. And then just applying that right under the center of the cheeks, kind of towards the bottom. I usually don't wear blush because my face gets red naturally but you can do whatever you'd like. And then I'm just taking my Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Glow Palette. I've really been meaning to get a full size of Champagne Pop, but this palette is perfect because it offers so much variety. So I'm just using my finger to take Champagne Pop on the highest points of my cheekbones. I really like using my finger instead of a brush for this because I feel like I'm not losing a lot of the product to the brush. And then there we have it, a complete full face of contour, highlight, and everything you can think of really. Thank you to everyone who requested this video. I really hope this could help you and I'm so glad you asked for it because I had so much fun doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I'll see you later. And then I'm taking my Becklin <laughs> and then I'm just using my finger to take some of Champagne Pop right on the highest points of my cheeks. I just realized my music's on in the background.